today, first grade, we are going to be working on measurement. And there's a couple of things that we're going to be talking about, but one of them we talked about yesterday. So we'll see if we remember that. But first, let's take a look at these objects. Rosa has something that is longer than the drinking straw. She has another object that is shorter than the key. What objects might she have? Do you guys remember my words longer? Bless you. And shorter from yesterday? Yes. What is my strategy with those words? The ER. Which is telling me I'm measuring how many things? Two. two. So I've got two letters at the end. So I'm measuring two things. So first let's take a look at this straw. We know what a straw looks like. We know about how long a straw is. It's about the size of our pencil, right? I want to know something that Rosa could have that is longer than the drinking straw. So, we are comparing the straw with something else. But it has to be longer. Does anyone have any ideas on an object that could be longer than the drinking straw? Um, we could. We could use a pipe. I want something that, because uh, a pipe can be different lengths, all kinds of different lengths. So I want something that could be the same length, no matter what it is. A pencil, not necessarily. They're about the same. I want something longer that I know for sure that it's going to be longer. No. An arm? Okay, very good. Our arm is longer than a drinking straw. So I want you to draw your arm. You can get out your page. Notice first grade how I started my arm the same place that I started the straw. Because if I move my straw down here on my hand, would would that be even? Would it show that my my arm is longer than the drinking straw? No, it wouldn't. So I have to start the drinking straw right at my arm, where my arm starts. Okay, very good. Okay, but we're not done yet because it says that she has another object that is shorter than the key. We all know what a key looks like to get into our house or to start a car. So I want to know an object that is shorter than a key. Um, a little pencil? No. Like a I don't pencil. want something that can change, guys, because a pencil can be different um, lengths. So I want something that's always going to be that size. Is that's about the same size as the key? I want something that's for sure smaller than the key. That's true, but that would be kind of hard to draw. I want something a little bit more sturdy. A penny. There we go. I like that. So in order to draw a penny, all I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a circle and put a P in the middle so that that stands for penny. Also, I want you to make sure and start the penny where? The same. The same. So my penny really could be scooted over just a little bit. Okay. 
Abraham Lincoln or something. Anyway. Okay, very good. So I'm, I'm glad that you guys remembered what we talked about yesterday. That the ER at the end, whoops, shows us that we're comparing two things. Also, remember that whenever I'm measuring something, that I need to start in the same spot. Kind of like if we were going to compare measurements of how tall we were, would it um, be fair if I were standing on a stool? No. No, it wouldn't because that's not really how tall I am. We would start with our feet flat on the ground on the same spot. Would it? Be fair if one person was standing kind of up on a hill and you were standing down on the hill? No. No, it wouldn't. We need to start in the same spot to make sure it is the same link that, they're, that we're comparing it correctly. So today, we are going to put these objects in order by how we measure them. Notice, first grade, I don't have short term. I have... Short is. What does the EST mean? I'm comparing three objects. Okay? So, it's the directions say order three pieces of yarn from shortest to longest. Draw the missing piece of yarn. Okay? So, which one did I want to start with? The shortest. So this is going to be the shortest. So my piece of yarn that I'm going to draw right here, can it be shorter than this one? No. No, it cannot. It has to be longer than that one. But this one right here is my longest. So can my piece of string be longer than this? No. No, it cannot. It has to be in between. So if I want to put them in order, it has to be kind of like stairs, okay? So where are we going to start? At the line. At the line. So we're going to start at the line and we're going to draw a line. And then I'm going to draw a line to show where I stop, okay? Is my line in order from shortest to longest? Not really. How is it not? It is. It is in order from shortest to longest. Is this string sh longer than this string? Yes. Is this string shorter than this string? Yes. So it is. Even if, even if I made it a little bit shorter, like this, is it still longer than the one up here? Yes. Yes, it is. Even if I made it a little bit longer, is it still following the directions? Yes. yes, it is. As long as it's in between these two. Does everyone understand what we are doing today? Yes. Okay.